would you please stand for the flag salute and remain standing for the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Let us pray. Dear God, supreme ruler of the universe, we reverently invoke thy blessing at this time. Grant that the knowledge and principles our children have learned in their early years may so enrich their hearts with love and goodness that their lives will reflect such a beauty and order which reigns forever before thy throne. Amen. I'd like to welcome you again to the 1989 promotion ceremony. My name is Joe Galindo. I'm the principal of Cardozo School. It's been a year of great expectations at Cardozo, expectations for students and our staff. Theme for this year, we strive for excellence. Everyday lessons are taught revolving around each, each one of us bettering each other. We've learned from each other and many mistakes were made. But all the mistakes were made that we made were offset by all the triumphs that we accomplished. <coughs> Students became self-sufficient. They learned to think and react in a way that helped them and the school. Students have proven themselves. I feel that they are prepared to go on to high school. I want them to always believe in themselves and I want them to strive for the best. And parents, I need for you to encourage them to do this. You can't let that down. I know sometimes an apparent life... We into a class team. Working hard to earn spirit points. We dressed crazy on crazy day. We had the highest number of twins in twin day. And bought down the house with our act at the lip sync contest. When our seventh grade, when the seventh graders won the spirit trophy, we knew we had a unified team ready for the eighth grade challenge. This past year, we worked hard at being good leaders for our younger classes and to give good examples. Roger Crawford was invited to visit Cardoza and, and say his go for it message that was felt by everyone. Again, we lead the way at the spirit activities. We showed we had the spirit by earning the most spirit points during the spirit week. You, you couldn't find an empty Coke can or sandwich wrapper in the eighth grade area. Now as our eighth grade year draws to a close, we are looking forward to being promoted to high school. Yet we feel the same way we did when we first started Cardoza as sixth graders. Scared. All the eighth graders here make up the class of 89. If it wasn't for this togetherness of this class of 89, we would not be here right now. As we move on in life, we should remember the past and the lessons we've learned to help us in the future. Mr. Thornton to present the Laura C.C. Pearson Award. Laura C.C. Peterson was a teacher in Riverbank School District. Her entire career was dedicated to service to her community and to her children, the children in her class. When she passed away, she left $10,000 to the school district with the following instructions. That the interest from that money should be given each year to the best all-around boy and best all-around eighth grade girl at our school. It was not to be an academic award, not a service award, but rather a, an award that went to the student who best demonstrated all of those attributes, scholarship, service, kindness, involvement in the community. It is with a great deal of pleasure that I have worked for the last three years to help select the students that receive the award. First, the teachers nominate as many students as they wish, every student that they think is deserving of the award. Then, through a selection process, it's narrowed down to the final three boys and three girls. And if there's a tie, which there was this year, 
uh, the finalists could number more. This year there were five girls and four boys. To be merely selected at this point to be a, a candidate is a great honor. The teachers spent hours trying to determine who should have received the award. The final choice is made by teachers to do not teach at our school, but rather in the district. This year's award recipients, and I would like them to come forward, are Mark Paul Snyder, and Bunan Tong Savan Tong. Bunam, there's a check that goes with this that if you will go down to the district office, they will present to you. And Mark, the same announcement to you. Presenting the CJSF Life Membership and Salutatorian is Mr. Keith Rogers. Good evening. Very pleased to be back this year. This is my 11th year here as co-advisor or advisor on California Junior Scholarship Federation. And once again, I have a very select but well-deserving group of young men and women who have made the grade of life membership to California Junior Scholarship Federation. To be a member of the Federation, you must, a lifetime member, excuse me, you must be a member three of your four semesters of your seventh and eighth grade year. Two of those semesters must be your eighth grade year. You must qualify for the entire eighth grade year. Your GPA, a grade point average, must be 3.5 or better, and you do not count your PE grade in there. At no time are you allowed in Ds, Fs, or use for unsatisfactory citizenship. About 10% of each class qualifies for CJSF at one semester, at least one semester. Only about 5% of each class ever gets life membership. So the qualifications are very strict and very hard. The students have received a gold pin that I hope you are wearing tonight. A gold seal that goes on their diploma, which has been put on today. And I will be handing out to them this evening a certificate with, with your name on it. As I call the student's name, please come up forward and stand right here in front of me. Serving as my first semester CJSF president, Guy Matheny. Serving as my second semester CJSF president, Monica Alanis. Second, or all year long, Vice President Marty Reimers. <laughs> Serving as my first semester secretary, Autumn Chosmo.
serving as my treasurer an entire year, Randy Morris. Association. It's my honor to honor these the young people. First, I would like to honor this auditorium with a monetary gift to Autumn Chelsea. And a very nice pleasure to honor two people as the valedictorians. I think this is the first for CSEA. And to Randy and to Bunam. There's a $50 for our they be possible to you. Congratulations. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Avila from the Veterans of Foreign Wards. Six four twenty eight. I present this award to Andy Salverio. It's my pleasure to present the uh, Presidential Academic uh, Achievement Awards and the people, some of them at least you've seen before. Basically, the uh, Presidential Ac Academic Achievement Awards are based upon B plus, average, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade years and uh, 80 percentile performance on the academic achievement test that the district has, ado has adopted. The recipients are Randy Morris, As I call your name, please come up. Kristen Spencer. <laughs> Guy Matheny. <laughs> Monica Alanese. I should introduce Mr. Galindo, president, a principal. Here we go again. Carlos Azua. He acts like a president, whether he is or not. <clears throat> Mr. Jeffries, I don't want the word to get out. Your administration now. This is a fun part for me. Been waiting all year for this. Been grooming these students to be ready for high school. The most important time in their lives. They'll be out in the streets as citizens. 18 years old or above, and they'll be our leaders of tomorrow. I want to thank the teaching staff at Cardozo for doing a tremendous job. I think they deserve a hand. And I should say not only the teaching staff, but all the staff at Cardozo. I'd like to introduce our superintendent of schools, and Dr. Paul Hewitt. And like I said, this is, this is the part I've been waiting for for the whole year. Dr. Hewitt, the staff, and myself, 
certify and recommend to you and the Riverbank Elementary School Board of Trustees that these students have passed a course of study preparing them for promotion to the ninth grade. Mr. Glendo, it's, it's with real pleasure that I accept this class on behalf of the Board of Trustees and can certify that they have met all the requirements that have been asked of them. I also want to stress tonight to the graduates that this, although it appears to be a very important rite of passage in their life, is just that, it's a rite of passage. It's not an end, it's only a beginning. And I expect someday to see the 135 young people that are sitting here before you tonight all come back to the same spot in June of 1993 to receive their high school diplomas. And with that in mind, the recognition that they have now completed their eighth year in the Riverbank school, Elementary School District, it is my pleasure to present this class and turn this class over to Mr. Robert Peasley, the principal of Riverbank High School. Dr. Hewitt, on behalf of the Oakdale Joint Union High School District, the faculty and the administration of Riverbank High School, we accept the class of 1989 as the class of 1993 at Riverbank High School. We too look forward to the time when all of you will be back here again to receive your high school diploma. Everything that we know about you as a group, your achievement, your citizenship, your service, leads us to believe that you will be an outstanding class. And so it is my pleasure to accept you, to welcome you into the Bruin family. May you carry that honor well. students being promoted tonight, we would ask that you please not applaud the individual students, and I personally will give you a chance to give a big cheer at the end of the ceremony. Nader Absu. Jose Acosta. Alice Barrios. Michelle Ball. Lamar Ballardo. Lance Van Messino. Francisco Banuelos. Barnes, Joanna Barrios, Malia Beaver, Lucy Bravo, Lisa Cady. Guadalupe Calderon. Jose Calderon. Laura Calderon. Michelle Carlson. Anna Castro. Jeremy Castro. 
Joshua Castro. White Chapin. Joe Chavez. Renee Coates. Celeste Compton. Tracy Cupid. Diana Darner. Jason Davis. Gustavo Duran. Gustavo. Emily Erickson. Yeah. Erica Delatore. Jennifer <coughs> Evans. Brandon Fallencamp. Eva Felix. Sandra Fernandez. Viva. Olympia Francis. Denise Frias. Jose Gallegos. Anthony Garcia. Caroline Garcia. Elena Garcia. Eliza Garcia. Gabriel J. Garcia. Sammy Garcia. Sylvia Garcia. Joey Green. Nathan Rinsell. David Guterres. Robbie Hansen. Randy Harless. Leopoldo Hernandez. <laughs> Tiffany Hodge. Eric Houston. <laughs> Teresa Enman. <laughs> Melissa Jimenez. <laughs> Danielle Legason. Lupi Lanares. Shauna Lindo. David Lynn. Eh? Francisco Lopez. Jaime Lopez. Leticia Lopez. Le movió. Sí. Ay. ¿Para qué era eso? María Lopez.
Mike Lopez. Todd Valley. Cecilia Manriquez. Elsa Manriquez. Randy Marlowe. Jeanette Martinez. Patty Martinez. <laughs> Ramon Martinez. Guy Lafini. Ryan Mayfield. Jeanette McDowell. Teresa Medina. Natalia Calandres. Stanley Milam. Mike Miller. Fonetta Meissner. Susanna Martinez. Randy Morris. Sharma Nicholson. Leslie Nunes. Ricky Odom. Roberto Ortiz. Veronica Padilla. Corey Payne. Juan Patrick. Sandy Silveria. Mark Snyder. Kristen Spencer, Jeff Sullivan, Mike Sullivan, James Taylor, Kerry Thomas. Hannah Tidwell. <laughs> Lynette Tigert. <laughs> I expect to hear that in four years from now, too. I'd like to, this very, very special woman here, and this lady's been waiting long enough, I'd like to introduce our student body president, Monica Alamis. but a step into our futures. We decide which way we're going to go. We have to try to achieve all we can, because even though four years of high school sounds like a long time, it really isn't. And if we don't try to achieve, then we won't know what we're capable of. Education plays an important role in our lives. Without a good education, 
then we will never will be successful. A good education doesn't just mean high school, it means college. We wonder what the first day of high school will be like. Will we make it on time? Will we find our classes? Will we be able to open our lockers? We all have these and many other fears, but if we stick together, we'll make it through. We as a class are saying goodbye to all of our friends and teachers to help us through our years our credos <coughs> and one of the people, listen carefully up there, matter. one of the people I'm going to miss the most is Abel Zamora. <laughs> this is not a unique class. Please stand for the benediction and afterwards please remain seated while the class leaves. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, ruler of heaven and earth, now that we are about to separate and return to our homes, wilt thou be so pleased to influence our hearts and minds that each one of us may continue our education, not for our own benefit, but rather the better to enable us to carry out our duties to you and to our country. May the blessings of heaven rest upon us and all of our children. Amen. <laughs>